Hello there everyone, Shadobin here. Welcome back to more Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. <clears throat> so when last I left you, I was doing some Pazak. So I did all the Pazak that that gentleman was willing to play with me. One, I don't know, five hands or so, he ran out of funds. Then he bet me some cards, which I played another game against him and won. So I now have, oh, let me go do something real quick. Anyway, I have his cards now. I have some cards. I assume they're his. I don't actually know. I didn't actually look to see what I won. Uh, sorry, we needed to ask the council about the guy that's in the room that wants their help. Then we're ready to proceed. Good evening, apprentice. A Jedi... Uh, why does the council do nothing about the Mandalorian Raiders? The Mandalorians have not hurt anyone before now. We thought they would keep their activities down with our presence here, but it seems we were tragically wrong. You may deal with the Mandalorian Raiders should you meet them. It might be good training to test your fighting skills this way. These Raiders are a disgrace. No true Mandalorian would stoop to raiding farms when whole worlds were open to them. Is there anything else you would like to know? Very well. Greetings, young as cr you. Uh, you got nothing. I see you insist on wonder. Why does the council not stop the Mandalorian Raider? <clears throat> Goodness, let's try that again. Why does the council not stop the Mandalorian Raiders? So you heard about them, did you? They've been harmless up till now. It is tragic that someone had to die before we took action. You have our leave to deal with the murdering Mandalorian raiders should you encounter them. Okay. If you have questions. So basically everybody's just like, yeah. No, we, we know the Mandalorian's a problem. Someone, someone to talk to him. The dark side still taints the ancient. Okay. You got nothing either. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Love that noise, and I love the way the sabers look. Still that guy up in that room that I wasn't... I meant to look him up in between recordings, and I did not. Because I know, I feel confident you get a quest from him. Maybe I have to deal with the grove first. On that subject, I guess we'll just go through the closest path south. Boom, boom, bam, boom. Boom, boom, bam, boom. I love the noise. Sorry. It's probably annoying me. Sitting there going, boom, 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 boom. Cat hounds are back. I mean, we might as well kill them for experience, right? Makes sense to me. <laughs> that other one, yeah. There it is. Yeah, I do so much damage on my initial charge. What with it doing, counting as a sneak attack and all. That's pretty awesome. Mission just decided, eh, not her problem. Uh, mission? Yeah. What? <coughs> what? How do our voices echo? What? We are not yes. in the cave. The world may never know. This leads to the Metalli Grounds. Okay. Go ahead and pop a save in here then. Got to deal with. Uh, looks like we got some Mandalorians right over there. Came in from. Let's go check this scenario, this situation out. No, please, take my wife and children instead. Anything. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, no big loss like losing Helm, it sounds like. Sounds like a good idea. This Mandalorian's gonna need to die too, though. Oh, he's immune to that. 
Okay. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Got here. Here, kids, med packs. Always good to get those med packs. Remains. One set of remains. Blaster carbine in it. Nothing super useful. I'm the only one taking damage there. Right, and mission, let's level you up. Skills. I mean, security, obviously. It's our main thing I use her for. Yeah, I mean, I guess just keep pumping her main skills. Anderous. Obviously, treat injury. Got your two weapon fighting. Get your heavy armor. Uh, we need to focus on power attack and implants. Next level, what? Still minus three, but now it's a plus eight. Your damage is going to get ridiculous quick. We're also going to want weapon focus, melee attack, and eventually weapon specialization. Again, let's go ahead and give them implants. I should count on what level did he. I don't know what level they get bonus feats. It's a problem. Let's grab implants. Do it. Let's commit. Uh, which, speaking of which, since he has implants now, currently he's got the response package. Which giving him plus one dex, okay. Let's, let's hold on to that for now. Sure. Alright. Back to this. Got a big open area here. Let's do our loop. Oh, yeah, this is mainly all that's down here. This is the Mattel grounds. I know there's some sort of quest dealing with these people. I just can't remember what. Was this the place that had like the Romeo and Juliet spurned lover thing? Here it is. Problem solved, problem. Where are you going, Ken? Oh. And dead. I'll show you. Yeah, once you hit. Once you hit that horror, it's over. Sometimes even before you hit the horror. What is this? Courtyard. Yard of what? Oh, this brought me back into this region. Which I mean, we're here. Hey, Cathound. Why aren't you jumping? Yeah. Mission. Okay. Or I guess, I guess the rest of my team decided, yeah, it's not our problem. All right, back to the Metalli grounds. And let's go ahead and do a quick warp and then transit back to refill my health. Yeah. 
Oh, he just kept running. That was the worst thing that thing could have done. Don't let me get off two of those in a row. Anything hidden back here? Any goodies? No, nope, don't look like it. Got more cath hounds over there. Grove. Okay, so that's the direction we're supposed to be going. Uh, this character's damage output is just a little crazy. Alright, so what we got? We got the grove. We got find her missing companion. Vision's brother. Uh, dealing with the Mandalorian Raiders. So yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do at the moment. Let's go do the Grove. Jump. Why won't you jump? Oh, hey. Oh, it's over now. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we're there. What is that? That's the actual grove. So let's explore. Let's explore other options first. Okay, let's get some experience. Wow, that's a really powerful ability against living creatures. Oh, why are you running over to it? This. Ah. All right, so this. All right, so this leads over to this other region. Okay. There's a guy there. Who are you? What do you want me to do? Ita 
Chila Mula ne Nintu Popo. Ponga Kumbischang ba Mulera. Ponga Dibo, Ponga Kumbischang. Ponga Kumbischang ba la Mule. Okay, so we got a murder mystery to solve. Tukin Chatukunde, Mulera des. Ka Chikun Ita Haldonga. Ikin Kuno ba Mulera Chikun. Stimo Podona. Dunga-kun-hunka-be Okay, we got an unarmed man and an armed man. The victim was found with a bloodstained blaster and was shot in the back. Is there anything else I should know? Right, I guess we are doing this for the other stuff. Where did he take me? Oh, he just took me over here. He didn't go far. All right, Rickard. Another Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Iriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? So, what do you... What did you see happen? Well, I was out hunting Iriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handed standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So, what? Why were you out here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie as. Haven't seen many in the area recently, but with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before, I shot, pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handed standing over the body and the Iriaz was gone. Now I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go now? So. Bullock said you were limping, are you hurt? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. Right. Mm. Okay. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? No. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story, then. I shall tell you, of course, but there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is quite obviously guilty of murder. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. See the killer? And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. How can I be a further... Yeah, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body on there. 
I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloo came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. I'm going to ask something How else. can I be of further assistance? Why were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> Holding your side, are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be of further assistance? Of course. Of course. Listen. All right, so that's the first round of questioning. Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help you with this problem. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi and Clay from the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please do not hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? What'd you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cathounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be here to assist you. That's interesting then that the runner doesn't have a weapon. Since they were advised to stay armed. I want to discuss the murder. Agreed. One of them is lying. <coughs> or both. <laughs> It's in time. All right. Talk to the droid again. Is there any? My preliminary is the is the is. All right. Let's go back to this guy. So, what do you want? See happen? Well, I was out hunting. I shot, and when I called her, must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close. So, I told you already, didn't I? Was in my blind a little sap. Now, I don't. Well, I kind of. Right. Alright, so he didn't say much of anything else. How can I be a further. Yeah, well, actually, I just got here when I saw Rickard. I had no idea what he was going to do. Master, I hope that. I was taking my daily constitution. Yeah, a healthy bo In Injured? 
How can I? The hand is definitely lying. Oh. Tell me what happened here. Okay, so he said the same thing. I want to discuss the murder. Alright, hand in his line. Fat people always lie. <laughs> He didn't mention the weapon found by the body. How can I be a further? Of course. Okay. They won't even let me question the fact that he's injured. So. Right. Wait, they're both injured. Oh. I'll discuss the. Case. Okay, Rickard is lying. Oh. Ah, that's a good point. It's glad there was no sun glare. Aha. Alright, let's figure out how they know the guy. How can I be a further? Know the victim. I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. The truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him yet. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Ask something else. How can I be of further assistance? Why would someone want to kill him? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More often than not, I've heard. Disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with a hut. A hut here on Dantooine. Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, yes, and I've heard some pretty unkind things about him, but certainly nothing that would make me want to kill him. How can I be if... Why were you out here? I was taking my daily... Injured? How? Yeah. Of course. Well, he's saying he doesn't. No one wants. Wouldn't have a reason to kill the guy. He just bad business practices. So what do you? Know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him, especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Ask someone else. So, what do you... Why would someone want to kill him? You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? 
I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. You think the name doth protest too much? So. Right. Alright, droid. Is there any other information you need? You tell me about Caldor and Handon. The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Netic and Mr. Gould. Is there any other information you need? About Caldor and Rickard. According to the municipal authorities near the Garen spaceport, there have been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Netic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other information you need? Hmm. Very well. Okay. Make sure I got these names right again. And the Southwoods is hey. Hannon, right? Yep. How can I be a Calder Baron, you admit? You've been in the speeder with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. Punch his face in. Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. How can I be a... In injured? No. I can block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh, my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally, I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder, Mr. Medic, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me or my family. I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But, as much as I may <laughs> hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my he own is fault not for driving my wife subtle. away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out. All right. Of course. Of course. So, what? Doc Calder was cheating you. Now, I don't love Calder. But we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Durang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Can't deny it. There was bad blood between you. Right. So, what do you want? Right. Right. Is there any other? My preliminary. Is Just the murder. When the coon bears ching palamule, tonking ba no no tet, tok ning chatu. Yes, they're both lying right now. Hannon is lying for sure. Oh, He knew his wife was cheating on him. Ta kung jis tak miki, grabble mogo, kachichu ita bodunga, tolba bank, wale oganda naru, chut chut, bogesha punga, bola wana chik ne. Focus on the murder weapon, alright? Alright, 
Let's do it. All right, let's start with the droid this time. Is there any other? Tell about the weapon you found the scene. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information? Interesting. So it's got blood on it that did not belong to the victim. Okay. How can I be afraid? You know about the weapon found by the body. That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an eerie ass can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? Hmm. Of course. So, what? You know about the weapon? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. <laughs> Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too, so he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. So. Now, I don't love... We... Right. All right. Is there any... Is there a report of Hannon's blaster being stolen? Yeah, that's good. I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and searched, but I cannot seem to come up with anything at all. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Interesting. We cannot get any more specific... Is there any... These planes... There... So... Is there... Very well. So the weapon belonged to him, there's no record of it being stolen, and it's got blood on it, and the blood does not belong to the victim. I mean, so far it's shaping up that you're the killer. I don't think you're free and clear, though. Uh, we'll discuss the murder. Uh, Blaster's hands. Lied about it being stolen. Yes, that's the missing piece we need. Who does that blood belong to? Is there any... Tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any... That's damn useless. Hey. How can I be afraid? In injured? No. Of course. That's the piece of the puzzle we still don't so, have. Right. Is that he's injured and not told him by a why. Let's discuss the murder. Didn't belong to the victim. It's Hannon's blood. Uh, He's clutching his side. Oh, mission's going crazy. 
Tu nincha tu kunde, mulerabes. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Chitu badawana nigi bobo. Tong nabungsha nununya. Tong patukas mak talea ka kung jus tak miki grabal mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Pogisha punga bola wana chike. Mamules limo podadara nanga kumbis mulerabes. Oh, they're both guilty. Runga di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tong king ba nunotek. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mule rabes. Tong abong sha um ni nong. Wanga kun bez keng bale muraya. Choni yun tun jiji ida dwana. Freaking thought Calder was cheating him on business. I king kuno pa mulera chikun. Stimo po dona rundi hotunga ku hunkabe. Runda di hotunga kun hunkabe. Wanna kun be. Everybody shooting everybody. Kun's wacky settlers. Tuk ning cha tu kun ne mulera bes. Tong haid wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Tolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchu. Kachi chu ita dun donga. You malita kuto dun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Gonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Damn you. Damn both of you. Ta kumjus tak miki grabble mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Tolga bank. Wale oganda naru chuchut. Ogisha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo hudadara. He's to learn. Don't do the con, can't pay the time. Ikingunopamunerachikun. Chilamulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis chang ba mulera. Achuta. Wonga kumbis tulpi kikunyana. Goodness. Alright. Tugas makilea. The whole little thing took like 20 minutes. Thank you. I'm happy with that, so we will save. Alright, let's go deal with these hounds. Oh, it's over now. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Uh, Sandro grounds, okay. So far we've had the Metal, Metalli, Telly, whatever it is, grounds, and the Sandro grounds. Uh, we're running close to time on this video. So I'm going to go deal with the actual grove. I do not want to miss out on that. Not in this one. Alright. Oh yeah, and there was a cluster of mandos over here. Deal with them as well. Not getting off y'all. Ooh. Got punch off of this guy. 
get some data pads. That's going to have some information on it, I'm sure. What we got here? All right, so both of these lead to the Sandal Grounds, okay? Isn't anywhere we need to go. All right, there's the grove. We're going to go interact with the first, we do. There were the... Where are these Mandalorian data pads at? Dark, did you remember not to take the XT model bike out today? There was something funny with one of the intakes and I thought I could jam. Ah, consider yourself lucky if someone was dumb enough to take that thing out, he would have plowed right to the ground for the kilometer. Dark went missing in Sector B, then Reza saw someone moving south of there. Take a couple of troops and find out who it is. If it looks suspicious, terminate. Okay. Alright, what's this? Is this is a plus two. That is actually a upgrade, so let's equip it instead. Now, what's Davix Visor do? Unproof Power Blast. Ugh. Useless. Alright, I have a mind, any mind affecting off at the moment. Any critical hits is actually probably more important, unless I'm fighting a Jedi. So, let's sw swap those. Got Bredic's armband and this Mandalorian melee shield. Okay, so that's just a better... It's a good shield. Belts. Of course, nothing of note there. Um... Where was this Mandalorian... This thing we just picked up. We just got this thing. Oh, it's the Vibro Double Blade, I think. Right now, we're dealing 620 plus 13. Yeah, they ain't worth swapping out anything yet. Alright, uh, we do in case we have to fight. There we go. Alright, here's the grove. It's like... It's like this person's defeated some Mandalorians. It's always a good sign. Oh, well, okay, well, that started off. That escalated much quicker than I thought it would. You. You are strong. Stronger than me, even in my darkness. Who are you? I am Juhani, and this is my grove. This is the place of my dark power. This is the place you have invaded. When I embrace the dark side, this is where I sought my solace. It is mine. You embrace the dark side? Why? When I slew my master, Quatra, I knew I could never go back. And now I revel in my dark power. Power enough to crush the life from someone such as you. Or so I had thought. Slew Quatra, your master. Yes. I struck her down in the middle of training, consumed by my anger, embracing the power of hate. But it was not enough. <sighs> what is it you want? Why do you bother me? I was sent by the Council to cleanse the tank from this grove. The Council has sent you here to kill me. Why then, when you bested me so easily, did you not simply finish your task? Is it not apparent that I can never be saved? I have no desire to kill you. You... you do not? I am pathetic. I sit here and thank myself to be great by embracing the dark side, but I am nothing. There is no way I could be turned back. I always thought they held me back, or jealous of my power. This is only because I was not good enough to meet their standards. I never have been. Come now, Juhani. A beautiful young woman who has much talent. I thank you for your kind words, Jedi. 
I seem to still have much to learn, both about being a Jedi and about myself. But I wish the cost of my ignorance had not been so high. I wish that my master had not suffered because of me. It's not your fault, Juan. I only wish things could have been different. If she were alive now, there would be so much I would say to her. So much I would apologize for. How can the Council ever take me back with what I have done? Striking my master down in anger is unforgivable. I worried you, honey. Surely take you back. I should convince them that I am truly repentant. That I am willing to forsake the dark side. And maybe, just maybe, they would accept me back. Do you think they would? Could it be possible after what I have done? Of course it would. They would always accept you back. I thank you, Master Jedi. I will return to the Council then. I shall submit myself to their judgment and hope they will forgive me. Again, I thank you. I am sure I will hear great things about you in the future. All right. Managed to successfully not kill a part a potential party member. Yes, I I already knew that she was a party member. That's the Jedi Guardian option. I can try and be like, oh, I didn't know that that was a character. I mean, yeah, I, I knew. Alright, back to the Metalli grounds. I saw a calf hound up there already. We're going to go defeat it for experience. Once again, it chose the worst possible decision it could have, which was to keep running from me. Alright. Let's go talk to the Metallies here. Alleys, tails, whatever. Plus, I never did actually finish exploring their area. God, I love it. Not that there was any point in going down there, but let's go talk to this droid. This is private property. By what authority are you trespassing on this estate? I'm sorry, I'll be going now. Leave immediately. Only those on official family business are permitted within the estate. Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess I don't really have anything. That led north. That, both these lead. Okay. See, I mean, I really got no reason not to just go to the Evan Hawk. Alright. But let's save it. I really need to get to the point where I can leave this planet. And then I can start buying my gear. We need a lot of credits. Let's go talk to the council and see how well we... Oh, there's Juhani already. Well, that was quick. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. Have you spoken to the council? I have spoken to the council. And they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. It's pretty harsh. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach, but now I truly understand my own limitations. Alaya, get out of here! You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. 
Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training. Though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. Hey, I'm glad to see you're not getting hung up on all this. The past is in the past, you know? Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. <laughs> I do not know what the Council has in store for me. Ganner's so harsh. I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Alright. Alright, let's go talk to the Council. About the Grove and all that. And I am now officially a Jedi Padawan. Uh, actually, I guess you were the one that gave me the test, so you're who I need to talk to. You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training, and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, Apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself Woo! worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the we first to it. welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. I'm big damn hero. If you have questions. Greetings, young Padawan. Have you as you? It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorak recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Tantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. What happened to the Jedi who went to investigate? We do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? What can you tell me about Bastila? Bastila. Bast All right, it's the same stuff. Bastila herself does not like to... But the way... Oh, I have to have Bastila. Bastila and Garth... Or Bastila and Candorus, then. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof, and we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. Only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Alan Matali we will look into a son's Tali, that's how he say Should it. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. What about my Jedi training? Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. 
Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. All right. Greetings, young Paddle. As you. Uh, okay, you don't have anything new we need to talk Your about. Training is now complete, Padawan. When we heard of the route, we sent the. All right, we already talked about this. If Shen Matali is not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. We must not allow that to happen. You should ask Master Grook about that, Padawan. He is in charge of our relations with the settlers. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bat. I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanni and brought her back into the Order. And have given us all great hope for your future success. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. For good or ill, you are now a true Padawan. The time has come for you and Bastilla to investigate the dream you shared. The secrets to stopping Malak may lie hidden within the ancient Dantooine ruins you both saw in your visions. For good or ill, for good... So I can't talk to him about the settlers. I have nothing left to teach you, Padawan. Though a Jedi is ever learning. Even the Masters know their training is but in its infancy. Now is the time for you to seek wisdom outside the training chambers. The lessons that yet await you are to be found beyond the walls of this academy. You should speak to the Council, Padawan. Now that the first stage of your training is complete, I am certain they would be eager to have you aid us in our struggle against Darth Malak and the Sith. All right. Then the last thing to be done... Yes? ...is to level up Bastila. Skill-wise... Pretty cut and dry. Uh, feats also pretty cut and dry. Hours. This is where it's not so cut and dry. Force of Valor. So she can take the upgraded part, which increases. So this is raising everyone and give us some bonuses. Okay. That's pretty good. Ooh, she also has stasis now. Stasis is my. Oh, there's my. This is what I was thinking. Not stasis. Uh, whirlwind is the, the really nice power. Okay. So yeah, I'm thinking, thinking stasis. So that's a single target, right? Yeah, that's a single target. That's a single target. She's got two different single target powers. That's also really good. Yeah. Yeah, stasis it is. Or force war one, I mean. Oh, another level. Same thing. And power, same thing. One power. Uh, again, I mean, this is gonna be our go-to. Stasis is not relevant until we can take Stasis Field. That's that's her AOE. Right, I'm understanding now that that's why I took Horror. Horror is already an AOE now. We don't want Force Wave. Be like, okay. So really, it's just a question of... shields and negative so it's basically do I have her buff us with valor do I have her buff us with improved? I'm thinking improved energy resistance because I am going to be going night valor myself and this will be helpful when fighting uh, enemies that do energy damage which most of them all right what that's where we will end this video. So again, folks, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I greatly appreciate it. It means the world to me, and I love you for it. Every minute you spend watching me is a minute you could be doing something else. So even if you just have me on in the background, whatever the case may be, the support really, really matters to me. Thank you so much.
If you like the game, the content, the channel, just consider giving me a like, follow, comment, subscribe, or ring the notification bell. All that good stuff. Of course, wherever you're at, I hope you have a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, evening, or night. May the Force be with you, and I'll catch you next time.